Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install SUSE Linux 10 on VMware. Prerequisites are VMware Workstation, SUSE Linux Enterprise Edition 10 SP3 in ISO format, then PuTTY. Uh, install VMware Workstation in your local machine. I'm using 7.0. You can download the latest version. Burn the Linux, uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise edition uh, 10 sp3 uh, in an iso format you can use some power iso or ultra iso to burn this file in iso format putty put install putty in your local machine uh, putty is a client software normally use uh, putty to take the remote section of the terminal i have already installed vmware workstation in my local machine Let's check the version 7.0. You can install the latest version. Click OK. Then create a new virtual machine. Use typical. Then click next. Select the ISO file which is saved in your local machine. Then location. Choose the location. Next. Uh, maximum disk size is 950 GB. It will not utilize under 950 space in your local machine. Click finish. It will start the VM. You can switch to VM by pressing Ctrl plus G command. See the boom. You can see in the bottom of the screen. And you can come back to your uh, local machine by pressing Ctrl plus Alt. Choose the installation and hit enter. language select English then next license agreement yes I agree new installation time zone Asia Calcutta then next system automatically created this partition and select the software component you can uh, make the partition and select the com co software component as per your requirement I'm going to show a demo how to create partition so select the base proportional setup on the proposal Parti sorry base partition setup on the proposal click next then delete the system generated uh, partitions create a new primary partition I'm making this partition for swap so select format as swap click OK then create an another one primary at a time you can create four primary partition the start and end part is, part is very important this way you can create multiple partition so I'm going to abort 
I have created my partition as per my requirement. I have created partition as per my requirement and select the software component. I am going to install SAP application so I have selected SAP application server base. Accept install. system will reboot you can press stop or it, or it, it will automatically reboot press control plus G and select the first option set your root password this is very important don't forget this root bar password hostname set your hostname here with fully qualified domain name click next I'm using the default configuration click next no the skip the test click next here I'm also using this default configuration you authentication mes method I don't have any LDAP connection here so I am using local set a username and password this is nothing this release note you can can click next click next uncheck the clone then finish it's, it's almost done Just completed. Installation is completed. Just log in with your root and password. This is SUSE Linux Enterprise Edition 10. You have successfully installed 
suzy linux let's check whether we can log in to linux server using putty sandbox putty is a lightweight client software it's already installed in my local machine network error. Let's check the hostname and IP in Linux server. Let's type hostname. Okay. Then ifconfig it will give the IP detail. ifconfig then here the IP is 192, 168, 139, 128. Just map this hostname and IP in your local machine. Go to run. Sorry, uh, run. Drivers. Go to etc. And open the host file in a notepad. then map the IP and hostname here 192, 168, 139, 128 against your hostname sap sandbox basis dot com just save it Let's close the old section. Login again. Yes. See, login with your root and password. sandbox ok guys this is the end of the video don't forget to rate this video thanks for watching